When it comes to cartoons, people often associate them with fond childhood memories. However, the conspiracy theories fans create around animated films diverge from the light-hearted atmosphere we usually enjoy. If you're curious to delve into a darker perspective, let's explore the animated series, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Released in 1988 on Cartoon Network, the show centers around three 10-year-old boys living in the suburbs of the fictional town Peach Creek. Led by Eddie, they constantly hatch schemes to earn money from their friends, albeit with frequent failures. Some fans, however, propose a chilling theory suggesting that all the children in the show are actually deceased, trapped in an eternal hell within Peach Creek. This theory points out that the children's tongues in Ed, Ed, and Eddie have a lifeless gray-green color, coupled with yellow skin lacking vitality, characteristics of a lifeless body. Notably, no adults appear throughout the series, except for Eddie's rarely seen brother. The absence of a discernible timeline adds fuel to the conspiracy. Technological devices from various eras, such as typewriters, computers, cassette tapes, and CDs, feature in different episodes, leading to the hypothesis that the children are from different periods of America. The theory suggests that each child lived and died in distinct historical periods, contributing to their varied characteristics and personalities. They supposedly converge in the town of Peach Creek, a metaphorical hell with an unending summer. The Kanker sisters, who make life difficult for the kids, are portrayed like hellish demons with normal pink tongues, suggesting they might still be alive. If they are indeed alive in hell, it's safe to say they're demons. While the truth remains uncertain, the explanations within this conspiracy theory present a compelling narrative, adding an eerie layer to the seemingly innocent world of Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Many kids experienced a shiver down their spine when tuning in to Courage the Cowardly Dog on Cartoon Network. This horror animated series follows Courage, a pink dog, living with his owner, the kind-hearted Mrs. Muriel, and the irritable Eustace in the peculiar town of nowhere. Each episode unfolds with a monster causing chaos, only to be thwarted by courage, leading to a happy ending where the dog returns to rest on Mrs. Muriel's lap. The original content of this animated show is spooky on its own, but the conspiracy theories surrounding Courage the Cowardly Dog add another layer. One of the more gentle interpretations suggests that Courage perceives the villains as terrifying because he views the world through the lens of a normal dog experiencing anxiety and fear due to limited interactions beyond the house. On a more sophisticated and dark note, fans propose that the villains serve a deeper purpose than mere drama or scares. Drawing parallels between Courage's traumatic past and the villains, some theorize that these characters aim to bring out the darkness within Courage, attempting to sway him to their side. Moreover, the setting of Courage's world is speculated to be post-apocalyptic, with nowhere representing what remains after a nuclear explosion, explaining the bizarre monster transformations possibly caused by radiation. A particularly unsettling theory stems from the last episode of season one, where Muriel and Eustace are turned into puppets and rescued by Courage. Some believe that, in reality, the curse on Muriel and Eustace persists, and all subsequent actions are controlled by Courage, who can't confront the harsh reality that his owners are no longer alive. To cope, Courage creates a simulated life, seeking the illusion of love and care from Muriel. In 2010, Cartoon Network introduced Adventure Time, a beloved animated series following the thrilling escapades of Finn and his shape-shifting dog Jake. Fans adore the vibrant and captivating world created by their adventures. However, a conspiracy theory suggests that Finn, a lonely boy with no friends aside from Jake, imagines this entire colorful journey as a way to escape his solitude. 
Adventure Time also boasts a more widely accepted theory, and interestingly, it's confirmed by the show's creators. Through revelations in the Great Mushroom War storyline, viewers discover that a past nuclear conflict devastated the world. Clues of this war are scattered throughout the series, from radioactive marked missiles to broken televisions. When characters venture into space, the landscape is stark and barren. This theory posits that characters like the Ice King and Marceline the Vampire Queen are survivors of this mysterious war. Furthermore, the colossal antagonist, the Lich, is believed to have originated from the nuclear fallout of this devastating conflict. The Powerpuff Girls, a delightful animated series featuring three young female superheroes, has sparked a fan theory that views them as manifestations of a girl grappling with dissociative identity disorder. This psychological defense mechanism arises from her strained relationship with her older brother, later embodied as the villainous Mojo Jojo, a chimpanzee bent on thwarting the Powerpuff Girls. In this interpretation, Blossom represents the girl's idealized self, poised, confident, and mature. Bubbles symbolizes her inherent innocence and submissiveness, occasionally revealing glimpses of a more assertive and fierce nature. Lastly, Buttercup embodies the girl's violent and rebellious side, born from thoughts of revenge against her brother and reflecting dissatisfaction with her life. This theory weaves a complex narrative, suggesting that the Powerpuff Girls are not just superheroes, but facets of a singular personality, each coping with different aspects of the girls' internal struggles. The intriguing tales of Phineas and Ferb, featuring two clever boys embarking on summer adventures, captivate audiences for hours. Yet, beneath the animated charm lies a chilling conspiracy theory. According to this hypothesis, Candace is the eldest child in the family. When Phineas, her younger brother, was just an infant, their single mother married an English archaeologist, introducing Ferb as Candace's stepbrother. This narrative explains the stark differences between Candace, who was once lonely, and her now mischievous younger brothers, Phineas and Ferb. Despite their disruptions, Candace cherishes the joy they bring to her life. However, tragedy strikes when Phineas and Ferb die in a traffic accident. Unable to cope, Candace creates a fantastical world where her brothers are alive, engaging in their usual antics. As Candace's mental state deteriorates, she struggles to distinguish between reality and fantasy. Her attempts to alert her mother go unheard, leading to a spiral into a world of impossibilities. Eventually, Candace's mental anguish becomes overwhelming, culminating in her tragic decision to end her own life. The perpetual summer and unending adventures in the series symbolize the eternal illusion of a lonely psychopath, forever trapped in a fabricated world. And those wrap up the fan conspiracy theories surrounding the aforementioned five animated films. Regardless of their accuracy, these hypotheses undeniably spark intrigue and contemplation. Which of these conspiracy theories about well-known cartoon resonates with you the most? Feel free to share your thoughts below. Until the next video, goodbye and see you soon.